Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and if you went out and bought yourself a LG C2, on this video I'm going to show you how to initially set it up using the Magic Remote Control. When you first turn it on, you want to go and press the center button to go to the next screen. And you can set it up with your mobile device if you download the LG ThinQ application. But on this video, we're going to just use the remote control that came with the TV to simplify it. Now you do have this voice control and it talks to you, but if you don't want to have that on, then you want to go ahead and turn it off. Now this is a United States based television and you can see it doesn't have a lot of different languages in it, nor does it have a lot of different time zones, but that's where I'm going to choose is Los Angeles because it's the closest thing to me. Now one thing to point out over here on the side, you have store mode. Make sure you don't hit that. But if you did, I do have a video showing you how to turn it off. Now just press on next. Now for this step, you're gonna to need to have your Wi-Fi. And just in case you don't have Wi-Fi, you can skip at the top, but I will tell you that a lot of functions on this TV will not work properly because it is a smart television. So I'll go ahead and log in my Wi-Fi with the credentials. Once your Wi-Fi is connected, you will get a screen with terms and conditions and go ahead and press on next. But again, if you skip it, if you try to download apps or something later on, the TV is gonna ask you. So this is a demo account I have, so I'll just go ahead and select everything, but keep in mind, if you skip it, you will eventually need it if you want to use the full function of the television. The next screen is going to look for devices that can pair with the TV. I don't have anything in this room set up, so let's go ahead and press on next. And then we want to choose the way we watch TV. Now, I did take the liberty to plug in the over there antenna in, so we'll go and set that up. But if you have a cable box or satellite box, you can go ahead and select that, and the Magic Remote Control will program itself to uh, control it, but you gotta make sure you go through the setup wizard. So now that I hit next, I can go ahead and enter my zip code. I'll just make one up. And uh, this is so the LG channels built in and the guide can download the proper uh, guide for you so it's not picking up something else in another city. Now this is an option if you have it on the stand like I do, you choose stand, but to get a better sound quality out of the built-in speakers, if you mount it on the wall, you want to go ahead and select that. Now this feature is called AI functions. So if you don't want to go through and try to calibrate the TV or try to do anything that you don't understand, you can go ahead and toggle these on and what the TV will do, it'll automatically adjust the picture quality based on the room settings. Now this setting is very important because if you want to launch this home screen every time you turn on the TV, you can leave that toggled on. But if you don't, make sure you toggle it off and then press on next. Now this screen is so the TV will have a wallpaper, voice commands on demand with the remote control. It's called always ready. So if you wanna have that feature where the TV automatically puts out some type of display, make sure you toggle on always ready. And since it is an OLED television, I do recommend you do leave it on. Now we got that set up. It wants to start scanning for local channels. And this process can take five to 10 minutes depending on your area. Now I will tell you from my experience, all channels will not come in crystal clear. So after you get this done and the TV set up, you wanna go through and delete some of the channels that you don't like because otherwise, if you're using the over there antenna, it's gonna have a lot of pixelated shows and you don't really want that. As you can see, this TV did find about 15 channels in my area. Now on this screen, this is the first time use. If you use any of these services like Sling, Amazon, Prime, LG channels, you can have the TV to install those as soon as it comes up. And this gives you an example of what LG channels look like. Let's go and hit on yes. And then we have more terms and conditions. Once you get through that, go ahead and hit agree. And that's pretty much the settings that you have available. Now, just in case you wonder what the LG channels look like that we just scanned, I'm gonna go ahead and load it up and we'll blur out the content on it. And this is what it looks like. At the top, you have watch now, you have live on demand, and a few other settings over here. Now you have a sidebar where you can do your favorite channels, add items to the list, but I will tell you that this TV does not record programming. It's just for viewing. And if you put something on, you also have a star bar right there so you can favorite things. The next thing I will show you is that if you plug in device like a Xbox, that it will find it automatically and you can control some of the basic features with the LG remote control. Now, if you want to learn more about all these different screens, I did make a full video walking you through the menu system. So make sure you go to my Texty tutorial channel and look up the playlist title LG C2. 
Thanks a lot for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit it now. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Tech Steve.